Thor The Dark World is considered one of, if not the worst movie in the MCU franchise. However, it did play somewhat of a role in Avengers Endgame, and what happens in Endgame actually makes The Dark World a better movie, as we get to see a much older damaged Thor interact with his mother Frigga. But that's not really the focus of this video. The focus of this video is that a villain from Thor The Dark World was actually originally set to return to help Thanos at the end of Avengers Endgame. In Avengers Endgame, if you look closely at Thanos' army, there are several groups that have joined him in order to take out the Avengers, those including the Outriders, the Chitari, the Black Order, and the Sakarans. However, originally, the Dark Elves were also set to make a return in favor of Thanos, and it was going to be revealed that the Dark Elves were always somewhat under Thanos' control and dominion, and that the Dark Elves had interacted with Thanos far before the events of the Dark World and knew he was out there. And before the events of the Dark World, though, the two of them may not have been joined up, but after the death of the Dark Elves leader Malekith, it is revealed that the Dark Elves found a new leader in Thanos. And in a deleted sequence, the Dark Elves were going to join Thanos in his final confrontation with the Avengers. If we look at the ultimate goal of the Dark Elves, as explained to us in the Dark World, this actually makes sense and lines up perfectly with Thanos' goals. This is what Odin has to say about the Dark Elves in the Dark World. Long before the birth of light, there was darkness, and from that darkness came the Dark Elves. Millennia ago, the most ruthless of their kind, Malekith, sought to transform our universe back into the Eternal Night. Such evil was possible through the power of the Aether, an ancient force of infinite destruction. Of course, we now know the Aether as the Reality Stone. But apparently, the Dark Elves joined Thanos as instead of an Eternal Night, they wanted at least half of the population to be destroyed, as sort of coming to an agreement between the two groups. But yes, according to this, the Dark Elves were going to join Thanos in his final conquest against the Avengers in Endgame. And it was going to be revealed that after the events of the Dark World, the Dark Elves actually decided to join Thanos, and settled for half of all life in the universe to be wiped out instead of what it sounds like pretty much all of it, and returning it to an eternal night. Again though, this was a concept that was ultimately cut in the final ending of Avengers Endgame, and the Dark Elves did not appear in the movie, besides of course a small reference from Thor. Although we have seen Dark Elves in other places in the MCU, such as with the Collector, as one of the Dark Elves were in his possession. But again, it might have been too confusing, even for more hardcore MCU fans, as to exactly why the Dark Elves joined with Thanos. But in my personal opinion, I would have liked to see it in the end of the movie, and it would have been a small little easter egg for us more hardcore MCU fans. But as always, I'm truly interested to hear what you guys have to think. Would you have liked to see the Dark Elves appear in Endgame as followers of Thanos? And would this have been an interesting addition to characters and villains that weren't that interesting before. Again, be sure to check out the link in the description for massive discounts on Avengers Endgame merchandise if you're interested. Using my link, you can get 30 to 60% off Quantum Realm hoodies and more, so be sure to check it out if you're interested. And if not, thank you just for watching. Again, the Infinity War Hot Toy Figure giveaway also continues, but we've gone over the rules so many times, you can check out another video to find them out if you don't know. Anyway, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button to assemble and join our team and have a great day.